Alright guys, welcome back on my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will go through my newest release track called Dope Track. I decided to break down this project for you here on YouTube because why not? It's Christmas time and I'm just feeling pretty good. So I decided to break down this video for you. So before we start the breakdown, please scroll down to the to the section to the link section right you will have a link there where you can listen the track fully by yourself then you can get back to this breakdown and break it down with me because i don't have time to play the track for you now so i will just describe all the se sections all the stuff what is happening in the song so yeah before that please listen to the song and now we are going straight back to the breakdown. As you can see here, my track is break down into few sections. So it's not breakdown into few sections, but it's few sections. So it's a start of a song. Then there is a breakdown section. Then there is a build up, pre drop, first half of a first drop, second half of a first drop, another breakdown, build up, pre drop, second drop, first half, and second drop, second half, and then end of the song, outro. So this is kind of a, like a, my structure for all the songs that I'm producing right now. So they are pretty based forward. There is not much uh, of a uh, bullshit going on. It's just, you know, straight track. Why I'm like composing the tracks like this, uh, it's probably the best way for DJs to have a song like this because then you can go straight from the first drop to breakdown and to build up and you can like basically switch the song here so you don't need to play a second drop or you can like just let the second drop play it's just you know it saves time and the track is shorter but uh, yeah this is about the structure so what I learned in this track is that I'm pretty strong with the composition but I'm lacking and creating my own unique sounds so in this track i'm using a lot of samples if you are this kind of a producer that is using a lot of pre uh, samples and is really strong with the composition then this breakdown will be for you uh if not it doesn't matter you can still learn something useful so without further ado let's break down the first uh section of this track that's this breakdown so i started with these vocals which are the main idea of this track so if you heard in the city call me 60 from the bass stripper it's kind of a, like kind of a track it's funk it's funky funk it's drum bass it's jump up i just love this kind of idea of pushing the limits for the jump up right so what i did here is that i choose these funky vocals gotta do my thing Running solo, no pack. Having nightmares where everything fade to black. I tell my girl. As you can see here in the post processing, I just put it OTT. Always put OTT on the vocals. It's just better. Saturn, which is basically just a Saturn. It's doing nothing. But I think when you just put a Saturn on the on the processing chain, something is slightly happening. I'm not sure what, but I have it here. Then I boosted a few frequencies in EQ. As you can hear, I boosted the uh, high frequencies, so the sound is more pronounced. You can hear the the crisp of the vocals, and also the frequencies around when the where the voice of the guy is more most like pronounced. So I just bo boosted these frequencies, so it's more so you can understand more the the middle frequencies, and then the glue compressor with the 5.4 decibels, which is pretty loud. So. Yeah, that's a kind of a processing for my vocals. This is what I do usually. Uh, also, I put like a delay on the vocals if I want. In this case, it's not happening. So this is a processing for the, for the vocals. Uh, the next thing, a key for the song was this song starter. So this song starter is, is really nice and it's setting the track really nice vibe. And I, I just like the sample, so I put it here. It sounds like this. <laughs> So here is the key switch. This is the, the point I decided to choose the sample as a building block because here is the key switch from the one key to a second key, right? So it's pretty simple, but it's really emotional. And I was like, fuck yeah, let's do it. So I just put here the song starter. I put uh, OTT, EQ, glue compressor and Saturn with uh, saturate and color preset. 
So for all of you guys usually watch my videos, you know that I use, I'm a preset guy. I use few pre presets on in every of my song and a saturating color is one of them. Just to be aware of this plus four decibels boost, that's why it's probably louder. So this is my like the block, the building block, the first block with, uh, with these funky vocals. Hey, I'm sorry for interrupting the video, but I have a special offer for you. Do you like this track? Do you like this breakdown? If yes, you can now exclusively buy the stems and the sample pack from this track here on the site on the dnbware.eu. Only thing you need to do is to go on a site dnbware.eu, search up in a search A that way you can find this dope track stems pack with samples. There is all the samples from the track. So if you want to have a new samples from me or you just want to learn from my project uh, in your Ableton or any DAW you're using, you can buy this sample pack here on this site. That way you can support me as a creator. Yeah, that's it. So thank you so much. Check it out. Back to the video. I just wanted to add a bit of airiness and a bit of a coolness to this kind of a track. What you can do is to add some effects and I added poly sirens, which is uh, pretty cool. It sounds like this. So I just wanted to create a more of a city feel for this track. You know, you are in New York or you are in the city and it's just cool. New York, right? It's a funk. So you need to have this kind of a atmo around your track. Also what I added and what I add in my songs is bell. So it's just basic bell. Just find a really nice sample that suits your tracks and you can use it. It's kind of a, you know, building element for the track. Uh, it can suit basically in every track and it can create a nice tension for your track because it's a bell. So your bell sounds like this. It's just normal belt. It can create some tension for your track. Also, I layered the song starter. So you can see here uh, the key switch. So basically it's switching between the note E and the note F. That's the kind of emotional switch. And it's just copying the pattern for the song starter. <laughs> pretty emotional. I just wanted to build around this uh, theme. So I added a bit of a white noise and some risers, kind of typical stuff that I usually add in my tracks. The main catcher here, I think, are the drums. So there's a lot of drums going on. They are a bit separated. So the first thing that you notice in the track is that it's actually funk. So what do you need to, what do you need in a funk track? You need this funky sound. And yeah, I added a bit of a plugins. This one is wider. So what it, what it does is, you know, this sample is kind of mono. I just put it wider so it's more wide. Cut off the low frequencies, added OTT and glue compressor behind all of that. So that's kind of a, you know, funky theme. Then you can add fuller, hi-hats, another fuller. And you have the breakdown for the song. So what about the build up, the build up section? So in the build up section, as you can notice here, I'm really this kind of a producer that likes uh, tension and, you know, going smoothly from section one to section two. So here in this kind of a sections, what I decided to do is I decided to put a clap, but reverse the clap. So we're creating this kind of a swoosh feel. You know, it's just, it's just reverse snare, uh, reverse clap. It can do a lot. Uh, I was really, I'm just really about uh, smooth transitions from section one to section two. So I just added a glitch and that's it. It can create a lot of tension and, uh, you know, it's smooth. So in the build up section, what I usually do is that I start to introduce some sounds from the drop and I also go all in with the drums. Here, I also did same thing. I just went with a lot of samples in the drums. I added these claps, the hi-hats and the cymbals, clock ticking sounds, percussions. Then I think this is a break. Then a cinematic feel. 
Of course, don't forget the funk cobell. The hi-hats. I also started to introduce the kick and snare rhythm so the listener and the dancer on the parquet can adjust to this tempo and can expect this kind of a rhythm in the drop. And that's basically for the drums. Uh, the same stuff is happening here as, a, as in a breakdown for the effects and for the synths. Also for the vocals, the only thing that uh, is different is that I started to introduce the main sound, the main jumpy lead from the drop of the song. And the main jumpy lead from the from the drop of the song is basically just uh, a sample from a splice. So yeah, that's why I'm kind of honest with you guys that uh, I'm kind of lacking with this creating sounds from my own, you know. So I use a lot of samples and this sample was just straight, just straight fit to the song and i was like all right so let's just chop it compose it just uh do some different stuff with it so i use auto filter to introduce the sound in the build up so the listener can you know prepare for what is about to happen then i added the isotope trash 2 with the clip control preset which just is just boosting the audio uh this eq is doing that the low frequencies of this sound is not in the build-up, so they no, do not clash with the sub bass. The reverb for the reverb tails, and this is an EQ for bo uh, you know bo boosted EQ for the drop. Then uh, everything else is closed by glue compressor with the clip. This is only difference in the build-up. So build-up together sounds like this. <laughs> So you can hear here that uh, there is a pre-drop section. The pre-drop section is probably really smooth because of this Reese glide. Again, it's just a sample. And I just boosted the sample with the OTT with the isotope trash. And what is giving the additional crisp for the sample is the erosion with the white noise. So I, I'm really started using erosion for the sounds because you can add a sign, you can add a white noise or you can add a noise. In this, especially in this new era of drum bass, there's a lot of white noises going on, a lot of high frequencies, you know. So it's just adding an overall, you know, feel to this Reese bass. And it's just really gliding with the, in the pre-drop. In the pre-job, I just decided to create a small fill from the snares and from the drums. So there is a stomp, there is a snare, there's a kick. This is kind of like a mine O fill and I just like it. So that's a pre-job. What about this section? And this is pretty important in uh, the jump up tracks I noticed is to give a additional, you know, few seconds or a few moments before the drop uh, and the drums kick in. So I just decided to add like this kind of a fake out section f in the start of the song. And it sounds like this. I'm just adding the listener a few moments before the drums kick in. What I'm using here is the first additional hit with the chant vocal. <laughs> That's it. I like this one. It's just really wide and it just goes with the, with the first hit. Uh, then I just uh, left here the, the bass and then I introduced this kind of a jumpy wom 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 with the BL Saturate. So what I like about this plugin is that it's just one knob and it just boots and saturate your, your sounds. So that's what I like about it. It's just one knob. I love one knob plugins. So this is for the structure of the song. As you can see, here the vocals are repeating here so i kept you know the vocals so you can like sing along with it or it's just cool you know to have the funk vocals go with the with the drum and bass flow so this is about the first drop uh for the drums there's just normal snare and then all the percussions clocks and stuff from the build up kicks in <laughs> All right, 
Alright, so in the uh, second section of first drop, the only difference is that I changed the snare for the clap. And I just want to say that this is a really nice way to make a difference in a song, especially when you have only one sound and, you know, you're kind of lazy. <laughs> so you just switch the snare for the clap. That's a really nice way how to change the drop. So this is for the first drop. Really simple. I hope that it can just shows you something about my style of a production because that's why I'm saying I'm really heavily oriented, oriented, oh, oriented. <laughs> Fuck. I'm sorry. This you can see that my strong side for in production is just basically the composition, not the sound design, but the composition. I was always about the composition, so I'm gonna play on my strength. So the second uh, breakdown is just basically this breakdown. It's this breakdown with the drums. <laughs> You know, so the listener can still move to, to the rhythm. And then there is the same build up as here. The second drop and the first half of the second drop is a bit different because I just uh, wanted to, you know, give change to the sound and I can show you how I managed to create this sound. So I'm gonna play it just so you can understand what is the first, uh, first half of a second drop about. <laughs> So it's kind of a rotating drum bass, rotating basses. Uh, it's just modern, I guess. As you can see here, it's just more heavily, you know, based about on the on the composition. So it's just you know smart moves about like how you want to arrange the sound. Uh, just filling the gaps, basically. You can see it's kind of like a stairs. You know, you just stepping on each one of these sounds, and then you can just you know go back. The main things are in this song are the composition and here i can play you like here i just decided to give a small break from the drums so you can you know again build the tension and there in, there is this few things going on <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of a you know four sounds in a probably like two seconds which is kind of nice you know listener needs to re-listen this and uh, it's just something interesting it can really like give attention and i just i just like it together combined with this kind of a sound so this kind of like a door slam kind of a sound which is pretty nice and then together with all the sounds so this is the main bass Again, I just found the bass sample, it sounds like this, and I just decided to create it like a, you know, mid frequency for the sound, which is just a basic analog BD synth in a C room with the sub bass, so without all the processing it sounds like this. So you can see it's just uh, one straightforward frequency in a middle range combined with the erosion. So now you can hear what the erosion sign can do. It's creating this kind of a lasery frequencies in a high end. And I just decided to put an auto pen so it can rotate together with the bass. And then I just added a paper noise with auto pen. And the drums are kind of the same. The only difference is that there is a clap going on and a bit of uh, another additional percussions. I, I think it's just a really simple idea and it's just dope track. You know, I just wanted to create a really simple dope track. And I think this idea kind of represents the dopeness of this track. And the second half of the second drop is just uh, basically this same section, but I go with the vocals all in. So there is a vocal still playing. So as you can see, drums are the most pronounced thing here in this track. As always in all of my tracks, I just really want to give uh, the listener the rhythm, the action, the power of these tracks, and you can achieve this through the drums right so yeah guys if you like this breakdown don't forget to like this video subscribe subscribe on my channel also you can follow me on my instagram 
and all the socials on SoundCloud, Spotify. I will be so, you know, grateful uh, for the support. Yeah, this is the breakdown for the track. Thank you so much. I hope you have an amazing day. Yeah, there's nothing much to say. See you in the next one, guys. And peace. Bye-bye.